another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we're gonna solve the spiral matrix problem before we get started hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and without further ado let's so let's get started imagine that you have a matrix a grid of numbers and they ask us to visit all the numbers inside the matrix in a special order the order should be right down left up so to solve this problem we're gonna use a technique called spiral order traversal and the spiral traversal is a method of following all the elements in the matrix and a clockwise spiral starting from the top left corner so first we're gonna visit the top row from left to right then visit the rightmost column from the top to the bottom and visit the bottom row from right to left then finally visit the leftmost column from the bottom to the top and so on and it's all you have visited all the numbers inside the matrix so here is how we're gonna travel the matrix first we calculate how many rows and columns we have inside the matrix and we're gonna have a left and right the left and right variable marks the leftmost and rightmost column and we're gonna initialize another two variables the top and the bottoms the top and bottoms marks the topmost and bottommost rows and we initialize an empty array that's gonna be the output and where we're gonna store the numbers then we start iterating throughout all the numbers inside the matrix so the first iteration gonna be by visiting all the numbers and the first row means the top starting from the leftmost corner to the last number Number inside the first row so we're gonna start at one visit two three and four then we're gonna move the top to the second row because we are done with the first row and now we start another iteration from the top last column to the bottom means we're gonna visit 8 12 and 16 and we're gonna eliminate the last columns mean we're gonna move the right to the previous columns then we check if the top and bottom have not yet crossed if not push it to the array all the numbers in the last bottoms means the last row starting from the right to the left after all the numbers being pushed to the result array we eliminate the last row by moving the bottom to the previous row then we check if the left and right have not met each other we visit the leftmost column from bottom to the top and we move the left to be pointing to the second column and we start another iteration checking if the left not passing the right and the top not passing the bottom so we visit the second row from left to right mean we visit six and seven and push them to the array result then move to the top to the next row then we visit the rightmost column from top to bottom which have only one number 11 and we push it to the array result and we move the right to the previous column then we check if the top pass the bottom if not we visit the last number inside the matrix which is 10 and finally we move the left to the next column to pass the right so we can return the result and stop the iteration that's it guys i hope you have understand how to solve this problem so let's jump at coding the solution so the first thing we're gonna do is to calculate how many and rows and columns we have inside the matrix then we initially Initialize four variables to keep track of the elements inside the matrix. So the left is gonna be zero, and the right is gonna be the last columns inside the matrix. Then the top is gonna be zero, and the bottom is gonna be the last row inside the matrix. Then we set a loop that continues until all the elements inside the matrix have been visited. The loop is controlled by two conditions: if the left is less or equal to the right, and top is less or equal to the bottom, which ensure we will visit all the elements inside the matrix and stop once we finished and return the result. So the first two for loops gonna push at each iteration of the outer loop all the numbers that are from left to right and all the numbers from the current rightmost column from the top to bottom. And the two other conditions are gonna push all the numbers that are at the current bottom from the right to left and all the numbers that are at leftmost columns from bo bottom to the top. And we'll finally return the result array, which contain all the elements in the matrix visited in the special order. So the time complexity of this problem is all n, where n is the number of elements inside the matrix, because we've visited each element in the matrix exactly once. And the space complexity is also all of n, because we store all the elements in the matrix in a list before returning it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.